Hello, this is Kyle with Great Land Accounting, and I want to welcome you to our QuickBooks tutorial video series. In this video, I will walk you through the process of setting up a new company. Now, there are a lot of exciting features in QuickBooks, but setting up a new company is certainly not one of them, so I apologize if this gets a little, uh, shall I say, boring. But we got to do it anyway, so let's go ahead. Uh, go ahead and click on Create a New Company, or if you'd rather, you can choose New Company from the File menu. When the Get Started window pops up, go ahead and click on Start Interview. Here you're going to enter in your company information. My company is called My Company. And then click Next. Then you're going to choose the industry. For an example, we're going to pretend that I'm starting a retail shop. So I'll go ahead and select Retail Shop and click Next. Then it wants to know how your company is organized. This is going to be the legal structure of your company. We're going to assume that I am a sole proprietorship. Go ahead and click Next. And then you need to select the first month of your fiscal year. We're going to pretend that I'm a calendar year, and so my fiscal year starts in January. If your fiscal year starts in a different month because you're on a different year, year end than December, uh, you'll want to choose the appropriate month. Go ahead and click Next. Then you'll want to set up an administrator password. This is optional in QuickBooks, but I certainly do recommend it. If you ever lost your company file, somebody else got a hold of it, uh, you certainly wouldn't want them to have access to all of, all of your confidential information that's in your uh, company file. So go ahead and put a password in to prevent any unauthorized use, and then click Next. And then you're going to create your company file. When you click Next, it's going to pop up the standard block for where you want to save it. OK, so we're going to call it my company, click save, and then we wait for QuickBooks to create the company file. Okay, perfect. So now uh, QuickBooks is ready to continue. The next steps are going to be towards customizing QuickBooks for your business. The following questions will help to set up the home screen that you'll see when you first start QuickBooks. Go ahead and click Next to get started. So it's going to ask you what you sell. And in our example, we're going to sell products only because we are a retail company. And then it's going to ask you how you enter sales in QuickBooks. So we think that we're going to sell a whole lot of products. So recording individually would be a real big pain. So we're just going to say we're going to get a report from the cash register and record it at a summary daily or weekly. And click Next. Alternatively, if you have a point of sale, that would be really cool too. But click Next. And then it's going to ask if we sell products online. And unfortunately, no. We are brick and mortar, so we don't have any online sales set up. So we'll go ahead and click Next. And then you're going to choose whether you charge sales tax in your state. And I'm in Alaska, so there's no sales tax, at least in Anchorage. Uh, do you want to create estimates in QuickBooks? Uh, estimates probably not going to be useful for a retail company. It's more like a construction company that's going to be sending out bids or proposals to work on projects. So we're going to select no. And as you can see, QuickBooks says that that's recommended for my business, which is um, based on the recommendations are based on the type of business that we selected. So in this case, QuickBooks is right and no is the correct answer. So go ahead and click next. Next, tracking customers' orders in QuickBooks. I think that uh, for our example company, we're just a retail shop. People come in, they buy stuff, they pay cash. We're, we're not going to do uh, uh, custom orders. If we do, we're not going to bother recording them in QuickBooks. So we'll just say no. Using statements in QuickBooks. This st uh, statements assumes that we you know, extend some credit to our customers. Uh, standard retail shop, we're not going to do that. So we're going to click no. Uh, invoices in QuickBooks, same type of thing. If we have an order and and uh, if they have project completion, then we're going to send out invoices. Um, and uh, we're again assuming that our retail shop is going to be, you know, pick up the items, paying cash in full at the time of purchase. So we're going to say, no, we don't need to bother with invoices. Managing your own bills. Now, this I do recommend. Uh, this basically means that when you get an invoice from one of your vendors, you'll record that invoice in QuickBooks rather than just paying it and recording that I paid some money. Um, this is actually a really good way to um, know what you have outstanding and know uh, when things are due and just really convenient way to manage it. So I'm going to click yes, and I recommend that for everyone. Do I print checks? Printing checks is really handy. I'm going to say yes, I love to print checks. Next. Tracking inventory in QuickBooks. Yeah, we're a retail shop. We want to make sure that our inventory is controlled, so let's do it. Go ahead and do that. 
Do I accept credit cards? Yes or no? And yes, I accept credit and debit cards. Who doesn't? Uh, tracking time in QuickBooks. This is not really necessary for a retail shop like our example, because uh, our our employees they just you know record their hours separately and we pay it through the normal payroll process. Um, this is really handy though for uh, construction companies, things like that. That you know you can actually have the employees record the time right into QuickBooks, and then then that time will, can be recorded straight to a particular project or assignment, so that you can keep track of how many hours went to a particular project. Really handy tool. But for our example. We're just going to say no and click next. And then do you have employees? Obviously we do have employees. We, it seems like we mentioned that earlier. They're W-2 employees, contractors and things like that we won't have. Um, if your construction company you likely will, so you'd want to add that checkbox too. Go ahead and click next. Tracking multiple currencies in QuickBooks. I don't think we need to mess with that. We're going to leave that no. Go ahead and click next. And then using accounts, it's going to now take you through the step to set up the chart of accounts for your company. Go ahead and click next. We need to know the date that you're going to start tracking your finances. This is very important. If you're just starting up a new company and using QuickBooks for the first time, beginning of the fiscal year is the fine option. However, if you're an existing company that's now transitioning over to the QuickBooks accounting system, then you'll want to actually specify the date that you're transitioning over to QuickBooks, and then you'll specify that there. But in our example, we're going to start out fresh and say beginning of the year. Click Next. Add a bank account. Of course we want a bank account because that's where all the money goes. So we're going to add a checking account and click Next. Information about the account balance uh, and I will just leave one checking account for now. That'll be good. So now it's going to review the income and expense accounts. Now it has a whole list of income and expense accounts and you can actually add more or less. These are just a bunch of default accounts that QuickBooks puts in there and it actually puts little check marks next to the ones that they recommend based on the retail shop that we selected. Now you can go through here and you can add check marks to the ones that you know you're going to want and remove check marks from the ones that you know you're not going to need. So let's say, yeah, we need miscellaneous expenses, but you know, down here, oh, uniforms, you know, we're not going to require, oops, we're not going to require our employees to wear uniforms, so we'll just take that one off. Okay, so we're going to click next. Congratulations, you have done it. You have completed setting up your your company in QuickBooks. Go ahead and click finish. QuickBooks is going to offer to sell you a payroll subscription. It's a cool thing, but we're going to skip it for now. I don't recommend that you do that because I recommend that you go to Great Land Accounting and hire us to do your payroll. Uh, that's pretty much it. When you hit the X button right there, it's going to move it over there so that you have those steps available to you. Now, as I mentioned earlier, if you are transitioning from a previous accounting system over to QuickBooks, the one thing that you're going to want to do is update all of the uh, accounts that were created with the beginning balance so that it'll basically be the ending balance from the oldest system is going to be the beginning balance in QuickBooks. You'll do that by selecting the list menu and choosing chart of accounts and you'll go through each individual account right click and choose edit or you can click and choose account and edit or keyboard shortcut as well if you like and then you're going to click the button that says enter opening account balance you're going to enter in let's say our checking account started out with twenty thousand dollars and we transitioned in november 30th and say okay save and close and that is pretty much it once you go through and set up all of those accounts then you are good to go all of the accounts will then show up with the uh, balance amount and obviously the opposing entry is going to be to opening balance equity so so there you have it that's how you set up your QuickBooks account and you are ready to get started tracking the finances for your company and and uh, if you do have any questions, feel free to visit us at uh, www.kyleblack.com. There's a contact us area there so that you can certainly ask me any questions that you have on, on QuickBooks. And you can also follow us on Twitter. We are GL Accounting on Twitter. Uh, thanks so much for joining us, and we'll see you later.